Okay. Uh, electrical inspection form for Terrence Greenbrier at First Arbor Hill Beacon... No, Boon Candy. I don't do know you want to actually read all that, or do you want me to just summarize it? Uh, it's technically up to safety and... Uh, uh, multiple layers of wire have been added into structure over the last hundred years. System is frequently unpredictable. Lights blink out for no clear reason. Pressure on floorboards and door frames disrupts circuits. Wire directing... Uh, essentially, the electricity is safe. But it's just unstable, and yes. it will go out at any time. It only blink out at any time, but yeah. Yeah, just like down the hall. Look on top of that bookcase that you just looked past. You can pick that up if you go into the corner. Dad was drinking whiskey in his study. Dad, why oh, are you yeah, so drunk? Oh yeah, that's so... That, that's so weird. How old am I, by the way? I think we're... We're gonna 20. pretend I'm 21. I think we're 20. We're gonna pretend I'm... We are going to pretend I'm 21. Okay. Okay, you're gonna. You don't have enough space in I'm that not, box to keep putting stuff in. I'm not a klepto. You're a klepto. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, right. Give me a minute. We haven't found it yet. Let me tell you that. It is nine 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 nine. We've not found it yet. You can do better. What if JFK it wasn't, wasn't JFK? JFK. <laughs> early space flight utopia. Advanced technology and World War Two early. Time stream too different. JFK president, US and USSR coalition. Chinese Japanese Chinese Japanese Lebanese. Lebanese. <laughs> Chinese <laughs> Japanese Lebanese. Lebanese these things. <laughs> I was trying to tell her that I'm a lesbian, it's but she thought I was trying to say I was Lebanese. <laughs> <laughs> Paradox results in JFK death being desired outcome. Record JFK off HBO. Magic bullet theory. Lone gunman. X Files. Check with Sam. State of emergency in Dallas cancels motorcade. JFK poisons kidnapped and injured. Intercept LHO and USSR. LHO killed in Marines. Why not disrupt? Motorcade minutes before LHO can fire. Grassy Knoll steamrolled. Read what's in the, Back uh, basics. well, no. Yeah. Sent back in time to Dallas 1963 again. Our dad is a writer, if you could not tell. I found, I, I found a secret thing. You did. Good job. Hello, Terrence. I write on what I hope. Yeah, You're gonna need to be overly tough. <laughs> what I hope <laughs> and imagine must be a joyous occasion. <laughs> News reached me that you are nearly married to a wonderful young woman. I've had more than a little time during my long days and nights at the house on Arbor Hill. To consider my past and family, my thoughts have been lingered on your development and welfare in the past ten years since we last met. Your marriage gives me much reassurance in this regard. I wish you and your new bride many happy years. You're always welcome on Arbor Hill, though I will understand, of course, if you feel you cannot accept this invitation. Yours very sincerely, Oscar Mason. Oh, well, he liked where we've heard that before. Dad. What? I wonder where we've heard that name before. Haha, <laughs> it worked! What? There's a cup in the drawer now. Okay. I really can't do anything with that. No. Nope. Maybe go into that thing behind us. The room, I mean. Not done here yet. I think you can. Yeah, you can read that. John Russell's head swam. He felt incredibly drunk despite not having touched a drop in hours. He vomited onto his feet. Why the hell did I start on the second page? John Russell opened his eyes and saw them, the stars, twinkling as if he was laying on the grass in his family's yard in Massachusetts. Even... Oh. Ew. <coughs> <laughs> you're you really getting those... into character. You ever have those burps where you're just like... Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. That kind of thing? Yeah, I just had one of those. 
Uh, even though the place was a million miles away, no, he blinked the sleep from his eyes, looking through the carbon reinforced safety glass of the space station Archimedes. Yes, he was a long way from home, but the future needed him. He vomited onto his feet, his bare feet. He stared for a moment, processing his sick, flit, flecked toenails, scanning up his bare skin, his bare knees. He was completely naked. He looked up and met the eyes of a gorgeous blonde woman wearing a tight palmer fiber tunic. The fabric that stained at the seams to contain her, strained at the seams to contain her generous bosom was emblazoned with the uh, phrase "matter transfer operator." Then he passed out. Oh, booby! Uh, John Russell had crossed the gap, the gap in time. Only messages had passed before, be, be off for a, but now, am man, man, they needed him. <laughs> Now more than ever, changing the past is no longer good enough. The instructions from the high, from the council had been dear: what to procure, what to co construct from it, how to assemble it, assemble the it. So he made the machine. How to transport him bodily across time, and now he stood there on the bridge of the star star ship Archimedes. Come of the vessel only because only he who had saved the Predis Nets life before oh, fucking I why why did he get so he bad towards the end of this at that point that's why we found the bottle why why would the bottle be up there did he throw it and it didn't break and just landed up there coincidentally go to the room behind this game maybe he has those really wait, soft wait, wait, throws kind of like I do The killing of JFK, a theory. You've seen the movie. Discover the truth. Um. Really? 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 You're gonna take that with you too? No. This is fucking garbage. <laughs> you should have said it was crap. No, it's garbage. There's a garbage I, can I, I right outside the room you could have thrown it away in. Yes. Right there. Yes. Uh, no. That is such garbage that I want to flush it down the toilet. Go into the back room already. I'm checking everything. You told me to. You checked everything. Now go into the back room. So this is our dad's um study. This is his fucking library. He has his own fucking library! Cool. We know what he does in here. Oh. Well, you know. I was, I was a teenage drag queen. We just tell us about their worst moments. Does anyone still care? No. Wait, no. That's not right. Look behind you real quick. Like, uh, at the bookshelf not there. What? What the fuck? Hi. We're just Look gonna at that bookshelf. That. <laughs> not that bookshelf. The one in the middle. One in the middle. The one in the middle! No, in the middle of the room! There you oh, go. Okay. Look in the drawer underneath. Look, our dad wrote some books. The accidental second. pariah. This is the second one. Move the rest of them, though. Gosh, Dad. Um, <laughs> night. Drugs first pushing them off the do. Japan's bloody war on dolphins. Naked lady on the front. What? And I, it's not your grandma! And I love how it just says, Gosh, Dad, because like, we're playing as Katie. Yep. Uh, what's your mind? Happy? Me? I'm have to wow, here. you are the worst at this. You, it doesn't have any airtime. There. I have to aim upwards just to throw something forwards four feet. God, Katie, you really need to work on this. 
No wonder you're only a track. A Stranger Under My Roof. The best, number one best-selling advice book for parents of teens. Lol. Fucking parenting book. Okay. Well, I found the code. Mm -hmm. 0451. You can read this. Dear Terrence, David asked me to write you regarding the reviews you've been submitting the last few months. Frankly, they're becoming more trouble than they're worth from an editing standpoint. There's a word limit. It's your job to stay under it, not mine to cut back to it. Even then, it's becoming harder and harder to weed out the tangents and non sequiturs from the, un from the usable copy without heavy rewrites. The readers of Home Theater Aficionado want to hear about the quality and value of the hardware, not ru ruminations of your childhood. If it were up to me, I wouldn't be writing you this letter. I'd be cutting you loose. There's tons of guys half your age who would take half your rate to write stuff I could actually use. But David's known you for a long time, and he's the boss, so I'm giving you one more shot on his say-so. You should write him a nice thank you, thanking him for his patience, a note thanking him for his patience and generosity. Look through your old stuff and start submitting reviews like that again. Then everybody will be happy. Brent Kirkwood. Review, reviews editor. Home Theater Aficionado Magazine. 0451 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. <sighs> Cubulic and Wise Attorneys at Law Dear Mr. Mason, please find and close your original document and a typed copy for your records. The notarized copy has been filed at our offices. Thank you for entrusting your firm with the this important matter. Sincerely, Jeffrey Wise, Cubilic and Wise, Attorneys at Law. Over there. You want to read this? Yep. I, Oscar Mason, possessing full competence of mind and memory after full survey of valued items to my name, do hereby declare that this document my last will and testament. The following shall hold true upon my passing. Ah, uh, one, I declare that I am a uh, lifelong resident of Boone County, that I am uh, unmarried and have wait, no wait. children. What? It was, uh, there we go. Two, I declare that I have no outstanding debts to my name, to any creditors living or dead. Three, I do hereby bequeath every item of value of which I may die possessed, including the dwelling and surrounding acres located at Arbor Hill, as well as any and all personal property and money to count to my nephew Terrence L. Greenbrier, Jr. of Ellis County. In the event that said Terrence L. Greenbrier, Jr. should predecease me, then and in such event the, the bequeathed to him shall fall and the same is bequeathed to his children as ordered by age and competence as stewards of the estate. I subscribe my name to this will this 13th day of August, signed Oscar Mason. Okay. The Oscar next two Mason are just the same thing. Same. It's just written out in hand, so it's. Longer. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, so that's why we I have this nice house stop. now, because our great uncle who liked our dad gave it to him. The reason I was stopping you was because uh, the game was trying to click off of it. Hey, are you the new girl, Sam? Mm -hmm. I'm Tommy. I'm at the back b uh, behind you. Wave if you get this one right back. I, Hi, Tommy. Yes, I'm going to read it. I'm going to read Sam. Sorry. Hi, Tommy. Yes, I'm Samantha, and yes, I'm new. What's up? I just thought, since you're new, maybe you could use a friend. I don't have all a, a lot of friends either, and so I thought I'd ask you if you don't mind. Do you, well, do you mind? Yes or no? No, I don't mind. What did you want to ask? Was it just your uncle who went psycho, or does it run in the family? That's what was talking to you earlier, by the way. You can go listen to it if you to want. Listen to it. You're not going to want to play that for super long. Why? Some of them are copyrighted. Also, Thank you for telling me that. While I don't get monetary anything from these, I uh, rather not have to deal with trying to cut that out. So look out. at the TV real quick. Yeah, it's severe weather warning. Yeah, just I heard turn it. it off, please. Just turn. Thank you. Also, this is the room of nostalgia. Look at what the tapes say. VHS 180. No, on, like on the sides. Um, X Files season one, episodes 18 to 21. 
Uh, the Dark Crystal. And, um... Uh, 2001. And the Dark Crystal. 2001. It's two different yeah, movies, I've so it's never... 2001 and the Dark Crystal. The Dark Crystal yeah, was a movie I, I by Jim Henson, the... the guy who made Labyrinth, but, like, a while before. Like, it also involves puppet people and whatnot. Yeah. It's pretty creepy. Hi, Terry. Enclosed, uh... Please find a pioneer to that blah unit with remote and cables. We need half-page review from the October issue, so that gives you about two weeks to get us the copy for edit. Standard stuff like you gave us on the seal, blah blah. It's a combi player, so check its CD playback with a few discs as well as laser deck disc. And they want us to definitely hit the uh, signal to noise ratio and toslink stuff for high end buyers. Looking forward to your take on it. Enjoy the unit. Cool. Yeah. Maybe start at the beginning of the room because there's a lot of stuff you missed. Like, go. I'm disappointed. Why? You can't start a fire? We didn't start the I'm also disappointed them for not throwing away things. Things that go on fire, go in there. Give me just a second, I forgot something. Are you gonna throw our dad's book into the fireplace? <laughs> I would never! <laughs> that is so rude! <laughs> Uh, get the sh get that shit get in there. Get shit on, Dad. <laughs> Sucking dick. Uh. Put it back. So, um, it's Mom's old work mug. Throw it on the ground. Or in the trash can. Fuck you, Mom. I'm a rebel. <laughs> Read all the tapes that are in the um the things. Hmm? All the tapes that are on the wall. Not over there. Over there. There you go. Okay, I wasn't even doing this yet. You can't read those. Yeah, I was checking. Um... Oh, wait, there's a box. Can I read this one? Yeah, go for it. Can you overlay the text? It's easier to read with this one. Hey, uh, Terry, hey man, how you been? I know you're a published author and everything now, but my editor, Hi-Fi Aficionado, has too much review work to go around, and he's looking for another freelancer. Naturally, I thought of you. You were saying in your last letter how much of a pain it's been to try to find a publisher for your latest work of literature, and writing stereo re reviews is dead simple. Sit at home with a glass of scotch, listen to some records, and write up how it sounds, and then get paid. I've included some issues of the mag to use as an example. If you're interested, send some writing samples to my editor and tell him your old college chum Mike sent you here. Here's the address. Do it, Mike. I'm not going to read the address. And then that's the first book that Dad wrote. What is with him and JFK? All of his books are about that. I'm going to tell you right now, the plot of his books is basically that when a president JFK is about to get assassinated, this people go forward in time to this man named James Russell and get him to go back in time and fix it. Yes, it's the it's the reverse Terminator. Yes, I know. Yes. The Andromeda Strain. Although this guy's Airplane. stuff came out way before the Terminator. Right here. Beetlejuice and Robocop. Cassie, Beetle I'm giving Juice. you a job. Look up, look up when the first Terminator movie came out. Blade Runner. Uh... Director's Cut? I think that's what that yeah, says. Yeah, I think it is too. JFK, X-Files, Season 1, that's Season 1, Season 1, Season 1, Season 1. Uh, The Time Machine. The Time Machine's Clue? The first movie came out in 1984, and his book came out in like 1978, because yeah. that's when that letter was. Fantastic Voyage. Uh, Real quick. I was hoping it would actually have a date on here. Trash. Does it say it? Yep, 1978. Mm -hmm. So assuming it came out that year. Mm -hmm. But that's a heavy assumption because... Well, it's can either it came out. out that year or before that year. Which still means that it came after, out before it, Terminator. No, after. Because it wasn't published yet as of that point. No, it was. He says in the letter, you're a published author now. <sighs> I know you're a published oh, okay. author and everything now. 
And it's for his latest one, which is his second book. Yeah. I didn't realize that. I thought it was talking Keep about Keep reading that. the tapes. Keep reading the tapes, bitch. You're not done. I, I did. You're not. Ghostbusters and Labyrinth. Labyrinth! That's what I was waiting for. Sorry. I already read them all. I know, but I was... I Clash I of Time. The Clash oh, of the Titans. Oh, okay, you're good. Making friends. Read it. Sam thought this might help Dad. Feeling lonely? It's a piece of cake to make friends. Throw it somewhere real quick. There's a voice thing. You know that feeling where the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around them, and you have to get to know them? Uh. Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk. But sometimes I see her in this, like, army uniform. Oh, I wonder. And she's always drawing in this notebook, looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after school. Oh, our little that sister is such a cutie. Yeah, that's it. Big gold star has been added to backpack. Hey, Gabe. Did it not? I have to go to the bathroom really bad. Cool. Can we pause and, like, you edit this out? No, I'm gonna keep it in. Um, take it, me in the bathroom so everyone can hear you pee. <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> Our viewership will go up. <laughs> so, uh, Mr. Dad over here has a huge uh, hard on for the X Files. The Haven at the End of the World. The Haven at the End of the World. The Turtle People, Part 1. Captain Allegra looked off of the ocean. It went on forever. Or, so it seemed. Someday she would find the edge and get to the paradise there. Then she heard a cannon fire. Boom! It was the black pirate ship. She yelled, I thought we lost on that horse island. The first mate said, looks like you thought too soon. The black ship came up along the side. Captain Black himself came out on the deck of the black ship. He yelled to Captain Allegra, Y'all are never gonna find the edge. There ain't no part I see our father were a liar. Captain Allegra yelled back, Then why do you keep following us, you imbecile? The first mate yelled out, Well, I'll stop you, Captain Black. Wait. Oh, no, that was a different person. Oops. We'll find the edge of the world, and you'll see her father was no liar. The battle kept going until Captain Allegra's ship got away. Now west, she said. And the ship sailed towards the sunset. They didn't even leave me any pizza. What a bunch of dicks.